Hello and welcome to the News in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safiya Palace the Saudi Minister of State, a member of the Saudi Cabinet, His Royal Highness Prince Turkey bin Mohammed bin Fahad bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and his accompanying delegation. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness Prince Turkey conveyed the greetings of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to His Majesty the King. His Majesty requested His Royal Highness Prince Turkey to convey his greetings to the Saudi King and his wishes for abundant health and happiness and further progress and prosperity for Saudi and its people. His Majesty praised the bilateral ties and the joint action and the cooperation and coordination with this between the two countries in all fields. The meeting also included discussions of further bolstering and bilateral relations in addition to topics of common concern. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the Ambassador of Egypt, Suha Ibrahim Mohammed Rafat, at Rifa Palace to mark the end of the Ambassador's service in the Kingdom. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the long-standing ties between Bahrain and Egypt, which continue to receive the support of His Majesty the King and the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. In this regard, His Royal Highness noted the Kingdom's commitment to further enhancing its strategic partnership with Egypt across all levels to benefit both countries and their citizens. The Ambassador then delivered a letter from the President of Egypt inviting His Royal Highness to attend the third edition of the World Youth Forum taking place in December this year in Sharm el-Sheikh. The Crown Prince extended thanks to the President of Egypt, wishing the country further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then went on to note Egypt's role alongside international partners in safeguarding the region's safety and stability and its significant support to reinforcing joint Arab cooperation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended thanks to the Ambassador for her service in further enhancing bilateral relations and wished her every success in her future endeavours. Regional and international issues of common interest were also discussed in the meeting. For her part, the Ambassador expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and noticed his continued support to enhancing Bahrain-Egypt ties. His, Ro His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the newly appointed Ambassador of France to Bahrain, Jérôme Kachad, at Rifa Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the steady growth of bilateral relations between Bahrain and France, noting the importance of future expanding cooperation across all levels. His Royal Highness then welcomed the Ambassador to the Kingdom, wishing him continued success in his new role. For his part, Couchard expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and highlighted His Royal Highness's support in further strengthening the Bahraini-French relations. His Majesty the King's representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the Minister of State and Member of the Saudi Cabinet, His Royal Highness Prince Turkey bin Mohammed bin Fahad bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, upon his arrival to the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser welcomed the Saudi Minister of State, healing the strong ties between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia in the light of the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Highness wished His Royal Highness Prince Turkey a pleasant stay. His Highness Sheikh Nasser had bid His Royal Highness Prince Turkey Mohammed farewell. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, chaired by its president, Ali bin Saleh Asale, where to prove the amendment of the Shura and the representative council's bylaws on questions directed to ministers. The council also decided to return the report of the Services Committee on a draft law adding to a new paragraph to Article 27 of Law 19 of 2006 on the regulation of the re labour market. The council also approved amending a number of provisions of the Penal Code issued in Decree Bylaw 15 of 1976. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, participated in the opening ceremony of the 35th Summit of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, and the related summits in Bangkok, Kingdom of Thailand, in the presence of a number of leaders and senior officials from the ASEAN member states and other international organisations. 
The minister hailed the major role played by the Kingdom of Thailand as current chair for the ASEAN 2019 under the slogan Advancing Partnership for Sustainability. The minister also underlined the Kingdom of Bahrain's supporting stance for the ASEAN's objective and efforts to enhance security and stability in the region and overcome the challenges facing the region. He also noted the efforts of the member states to advance the ASEAN's role in finding solutions for several issues and establishing peace and security at the regional and international levels. The 35th ASEAN Summit and related summits discussed key issues in Southeast Asia. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, met today with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Singapore, Vivian Balakrishnan, on the sideline of the 35th meeting of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, in Bangkok. During the meeting, the Minister of Foreign Affairs hailed the deep-rooted friendly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Singapore, and the mutual keenness of both sides to enhance existing cooperation and exchange of experiences in various fields, namely diplomats' development field. The Minister also underlined the importance of continuing consultations and coordination on means of enhancing relations for the common interests of the two friendly countries. For his part, the Singapore Minister expressed pride in the bilateral relations with Bahrain, noting the Kingdom's role in establishing peace and security in the region. The two sides further discussed recent developments at the regional and international levels. The Alliance Francaise in Bahrain, the first in the Gulf, and the entire Middle East celebrates its 50th anniversary in the presence of its members, partners and friends in Bahrain, France and the world. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. In a wonderful celebration of the French culture and Bahraini French friendship, the Alliance Francaise in Bahrain celebrates 50 years of supporting over 20,000 students in achieving their French language goals. The Alliance Francaise in Bahrain, which is part of a dynamic worldwide network composed of 832 alliances in 132 countries, is the first in the Gulf and the entire Middle East, which reflects the interest of the Bahraini people in the French language and culture. 50 years is a great anniversary and it shows that the relationship between France and Bahrain are long, solid and uh, my wish tonight is that it, it will go on like this in the future. I'm very happy to be here because the Alliance Française in Bahrain is a very good example of what is Alliance Française. She just had 50 years and as the leader of the worldwide network of Alliance Française, I'm very proud that we see the values that Alliance Française can provide all over the world and here specifically. The Alliance Francaise in Bahrain had a very humble beginning. The first French course offered at the Alliance in 1969 was attended by only seven students. Since then, the Alliance Francaise in Bahrain has seen the attendance of its courses grow to at least 1,000 students per year. The French culture is a very rich culture and the language is a really beautiful language. And I think Bahrain has done a great job in inviting the Alliance of Francis 50 years ago to start teaching and start interaction with the, culture, with the two cultures. This is uh, part of history of Bahrain and uh, this is too many achievements what we can uh, see tonight with testimonials, with students, with the talents. So this is an amazing moment. The celebration included French songs performed by students from the Alliance Francaise, as well as poetry reading blending the Bahraini and French languages, in addition to musical performances. I've been to the Alliance for about three years and it's a wonderful place. Uh, we learn a lot there and we're introduced to the French culture which is wonderful and there are so many activities we can do like watching French movies, um, playing and listening to music and learning a lot. Culture is also at the heart of the Alliance Francaise commitment, with the minimum of 20 cultural events being offered per year, such as film screenings, exhibitions, concerts, performances, poetry readings and other festivities bringing the two cultures together. 
Today we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Alliance Francaise in Bahrain, the first Alliance Francaise in the Gulf and the Middle East that was opened in 1969. Hiba Abdel Ghaffar, Bahrain International.